hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have t square divided by t is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of t so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, also we solve this problem for two methods uh, I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So here first we move towards our first method and in first method uh, you see here the denominator in the right hand side is 1 so we rewrite our equation as t square divided by t is equals to 2 divided by 1 because the denominator of this term is 1 and now here we need to cross multiply the terms uh, and we multiply 1 with this value and it will be written as 1 multiplied by t square is equals to this t is multiplied by 2 and it will be written as 2 times of t and further in the next step you see here we have 1 times of t square is equals to t square and 2 times of t is equals to 2t and now uh, in the next step we move our variable terms into the left hand side for this we move this 2t in the left hand side and it will be written as t square minus 2t is equals to 0 and, and now further in the next step uh, here we need to take common t from here so when you will take common t we get here the remaining values are from here uh, we get t minus from here we get 2 is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write t is equals to 0 and the second case is we write t minus 2 is equals to 0. So this is the our first root of the given equation uh, and now here in order to find the other root we need to move this minus 2 to the right hand side and we will get here t is equals to 2. This is the second root of the given equation. So in the next step we need to verify that, verify that which of the roots are the solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Uh, for this uh, we uh, need to copy down given question statement here. Uh, so our given question statement is that t square divided by t is equals to 2. And here we verify above both of the two roots here. So in this side we verify t is equals to 0 and in this side uh, we verify t is equals to 2. So uh, now in the next step uh, you see here uh, when uh, we substitute this value of t is equals to 0 into the left hand side it will be written as 0 square divided by 0 is equals to 2 and we know that 0 square becomes 0 divided by 0 is equals to 2. So in the next step you see here 0 over 0 is usually called the indeterminate form. Uh, so if uh, this is the indeterminate form this means that uh, our left hand side uh, is undefined okay in other words we say that 0 by 0 form is undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined uh, this means that uh, 0 is uh, not equal to this means that both of the sides are not equal so uh, here we finally conclude about t is equals to 0 is that t is equals to 0 be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root uh, and now here I can explain uh, the term extraneous root the root which uh, does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so t equals to 0 be the extraneous root and now here we move towards our second root and our second root is that t is equals to 2 and now we put t is equals to 2 into the left hand side and we will check that this will become 2 square divided by 2 is equals to 2 and this 2 square becomes 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2 and we cancel this term and we get here 2 times 2 becomes 4 
and here we obtain 2 is equals to 2. So this shows that uh, the value of t is equals to 2 is satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so we say that t is equals to 2 be the uh, solution of the given equation. Okay. So we have t is equals to 2 be the solution and t is equals to 0 be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation which we get here from first method. And now here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here it will be written as t square divided by t is equals to 2. So here uh, we just uh, find the values of t in a very smart way. Uh, so uh, here you see that this is t square and we write it as t multiplied by t divided by t is equals to 2 and you see here this t is cancelled out by this t and here we get the value of t is equals to 2. So in this case we get only one value of t that is t is equals to 2 also we already verify t is equals to 2 into the first method and we check that t is equals to 2 be the solution of the given equation. So this is our final answer and here uh, in the first method uh, the reason to explanation in the first method is that if your examiner tells us that you can separate uh, the extraneous root and the solution of the given equation then you need to do the first method and if you, uh, your examiner just tells us that you can just find the solution of this equation so uh, then you just do the second method. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.